Hey, welcome to this Fix It channel, and today we're going to talk about a um, site that I've mentioned a few months back. Um, I've uh, have I been pawned, um, and um, add a little more information because I got over time lots of questions over this. Uh, first of all, for all of those that say, "Well, yeah, right," you've given us a website where we're going to get hacked because you have to enter your email or username. No, you can't because they don't ask for anything else. All you do is enter a username or an email address. They can't do anything with that, you know. And the email they might try to send you spam, but if you got a good spam filter, it's already blocked. So uh, no, this website is safe. It's fine. Um, how it works? You enter your email address or a username that you use on websites, and it's going to tell you if you've been pawned or not. For those that wonder if you've been pawned. Because a lot of you kind of panicked a little bit, uh, saying, well, you know, I've been pawned, I'm scared now, what what should I do? Here's the thing. If you're a user that has a lot of accounts around the web with an email or a username, same username, chances that you've been pawned are very high. And I'm going to show you uh, my case. So here's one of my email address. When I go here and I click, am I pawned? Yes, I was. I am on pretty much every email address that I use. And the reason is I, you know, part of what I do as a public figure because of YouTube and everything is I subscribe to everything so that I can talk about it or answer questions about it when people ask me. So here it says, oh no, pond. Yeah, of course. Now it gives you details um, where you've been pond. So it tells me iMesh and MySpace is where it's been pawned. So here, email address, IP address, password, and usernames. On MySpace, it's email address, passwords, and usernames. Now, what do you do when you get pawned? So what will I do, for example, here? Well, the first thing that I will do, change my email password. And that's one of the first things that I did. Now, I have a Gmail, so I've also activated two-factor authentication. I need, you know, anyone that wants to log into this email needs the secret code that only I can receive over my smartphone. That's even better because even if they have your password, when two-factor authentication is activated, they still can't do anything because they can't get in. The second, check out your accounts that have been uh, hacked into. The ones, you know, check everything. The ones that you don't use anymore, that you don't care about, why don't you go there and just shut it down? You know, shut down your accounts that you don't use. So, for example, I've shut down MySpace and iMesh. I don't use that. Um, in the case where you use your accounts, well, change the email, not the email, but change the password on all of these accounts. Once again, if the password you used here is the same for everything you do on the web, change your password everywhere you go on the web because it means they know the password of every account that you could own. That's why technically we should have different passwords for every website that we go to. Another example here I'll give uh, this one. Another email that I use. Have I been pawned? Of course I've been. Once again I use this email a lot. And this one is a public email because it's also my business. So everybody knows about it. So this one, oh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is where I got pawned on this one. Compromised data, email address, passwords. So once again, change your password of the compromised account. So in this case, LinkedIn. And of your main email to make sure that you're safe. Once again, everywhere two-factor authentication exists, turn it on. It's really, really safe to have that turned on. Shut down your accounts that you don't use. So LinkedIn, which was basically uh, used when I was very active as a tech guy, what it would do is actually give me uh, links to other people that would need tech repair jobs, for example, as a professional uh, guy. But now that I've done much less, I've actually closed down my LinkedIn because it doesn't really 
do much for me anymore. And uh, what's important to check also is what type of data that's compromised because on some websites you'll have credit card information, personal information of all sorts that could be compromised. What to do when that happens? So in the case of personal info and credit cards, what I would suggest is um, why not activate at the credit bureau a um, kind of a warning system. They all have that uh, warning system where they actually improve the security of your account. Now, for most part, it isn't free, but at least you know they'll be checking a little more what's happening with your credit information and everything. Um, what you could also do, tell your bank. You know, tell your bank, oh, well, you know what, my credit card info has been stolen on a website, what should I do? Uh, some banks will tell you, well, we're going to, you know, shut down that credit card and we'll reissue a new one. But because of the high fees that brings to a bank, most of the time what they'll do is, well, okay, we'll just keep a close eye on your account. Uh, check it out yourself. If something unusual happens, call us. But they will probably leave it open. They're just going to check it out a little more to make sure nothing illegal happens and ask you to do the same. And if something happens, like, for example, uh, a charge on your credit card, most of the time they'll, you know, just reimburse. They're just going to say, well, okay, we're going to give your money back. It's okay. So, uh, you know, just make sure that you take care of checking out everything everywhere. Change your passwords and everything. So basically, um, if I recap, change your passwords if you've been pawned on your email and on the accounts that you see. Turn on two-factor authentication if possible. And if more info like credit card, why not check out with the credit bureau, with your bank, and see what you should be doing to keep yourself safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like our videos. And uh, hopefully, we, if possible, you know, help you to stay safe and alert about what's happening on the web. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for following us.